G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Pork crackling is one of those things that everyone loves. It is so crunchy, so delicious. But it's also, it can also be pretty unhealthy too, but this one is incredibly healthy and it's also incredibly fast too. So join me today as I make my version of pork crackling in an air fryer. Okay, so we're gonna start this off with our pork rind. Now, as you can see, all the meat has been removed. So you're just left with the skin. Now, what I've done with this is I've left it uncovered in the fridge overnight. That'll help dry it out. And I've also left it out room temperature now for 30 minutes. Now, next, if the butcher hasn't already done it, now boy butcher's done it for me, you just want to score the meat, say about a quarter of the way through. So don't cut all the way through if possible, just score it, just so you've got like these little indents just in the skin. So the first thing we want to do is with some olive oil, just a little bit, just drizzle on top. And we just want to rub that in and try and get it into all these little score marks that have made in the skin. And once you've done that, we're going to get some coarse sea salt or cooking salt. And we just want to rub that in just so it gets in all those little nicks and crannies, nooks and crannies. And this will just really help with the cooking process. So it all bubbles up and it's nice and crispy. And that's it. That's all the preparation you need to do. Okay, with our air fryer, we're just going to place our pork rind into our air fryer like so. Now don't worry, this will shrink a little bit as it's cooking. Now I want you to cook it as high as possible, which is 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. I cannot describe just how good this room smells right now, but let's see the results. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Can it be any more perfect than that? It's nice and bubbly and hard. Exactly how a crispy crackle should be. But honestly, there's only one way to find out if it's good and I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Oh. oh, that is perfection. That truly is perfection. It doesn't get any better than this. It's not only incredibly simple and easy, it's incredibly delicious by making your pork crackling in an air fryer. It does not get any better than this. Oh, yum. You just can't stop at one piece. And I guess you can say this is actually keto too, but that's not the main reason behind it. It's all about the flavor. So if you're having this as part of a roast dinner or by itself as a snack, either way, this pork crackling is definitely going to taste simply delish. Mm -hmm. 